got to be honest, there's not many things that I'm excited for in the modern entertainment industry, but a couple shows, a couple series, a couple movies are out there that I am excited for. And one of the things that's been upcoming now for ever since the end of season one, I've been looking forward to House of the Dragon season two. I have not watched the teaser trailer yet, even though it's been out there for over 24 hours because I've been so busy this weekend. Finally, I get an opportunity to react. Our first tease of House of the Dragon season two. Obviously, we left off on a pretty crazy note at the end of season one. And if you know what's coming, if you know what's coming in the source material, a lot of people expect in season two to be crazy. Here we go. Errors were made in the hours following King Viserys. Is there... uh, probably right after Luke dies. The war be fought. Fucking Damon. High tower banners. Many will die. Kristen Cole got a haircut. And the victor will eventually ascend the throne. Is it's gonna be so hard to pick out these dragons? Damon beheading somebody. Iron Throne. There's a war between kin. Oh shit. Is that Helena. And no war so bloody as a war between dragons. <laughs> Oh, hold up. Hold up. Oh my god, Vagar looks amazing. That is really a tease, like a teaser trailer. You know what I mean? Just like shot, shot, shot. There's they, they do not linger very long on almost anything there. Um Okay. So one, I do love this shot. Hold on. This is Damon. I mean, it, it looks like either Damon's mad and like just, he might be beheading somebody. I don't fucking know. We really don't know what's happening here, but it looks like he's in freaking a Godswood. <laughs> so I'm not really sure where he's at, but this sequence right here, hold on. That's pretty sick. Eamon, all right. So... This is going to be an interesting season for Eamon after what happened in season one at the end with Vagar. Um, there's something that's probably going to happen in this season at some point that is the reason why he's looking at the Iron Throne this way. Uh, all right, let's go to the beginning. So this, to me, that's got to be Storm's End. So this is uh, ship, uh, ship, Shipbreaker Bay, probably, where, where Lucerus dies. This has got to be Renera going there right after it happens. Errors were made in the hours following King Viserys' death. Oh, yeah, no shit, Otto, you piece of shit. For Otto Hightower, what an asshole. Here's Aegon, King Aegon, walking up to the Iron Throne. Got to do like that helmet from Damon. So there was something that I saw here. There's the high tower, high tower people right here. There was something. Well, that guy's about to get his head chopped off. Where were those dragons at? All right. So this is that. I, I guess I can't tell what dragon that is. This looks like um Adam Valerian, though, doesn't it? Adam of Hall. I think that's Adam of Hall. There's also a sequence here. There was two dragons. One was Rhaenyra. One was Cyrax. So you've got Rhaenyra and Cyrax. What is this? Is this... Is Sea Smoke that much bigger than Cyrax, though? That's my question. Is this Sea Smoke? And if this is Sea Smoke, is that Adam Valerian? Or is that... Um, and we know Lenor is going to be back in some way. I don't know. It's cool. Listen, you get a lot of teases. You're already asking a lot of questions about what's going to happen. Uh, it's just setting up that, hey, all the setup was in season one. Now it's time for war. Pick a fucking side. Fire and blood will reign in Westeros. Um, there is a sequence. Oh, I fucking mount up, Damon. There's also like, I, I swore I saw... Vagar looks amazing. This, I mean, this sequence looks awesome. Here you go. I 
I really love the choice they made to have Vagar have like holes in his wings, just like, or her wings, sorry. How old she is. How many battles she's been through. I swear I, this, here, here it is. So this has to be blood and cheese. I don't know if this guy's blood or cheese. I, I guess I'm not sure, but I think in the first couple episodes, we're going to have... <laughs> We're going to have something that happens that I think rivals the shock value of anything we've seen Game of Thrones wise, anything we've seen in a long time, even Red Wedding kind of stuff. Um, and it involves blood and cheese. And I think we're going to see Damon maybe go there and set this entire thing up. Um, listen, eye for an eye, revenge, son for a son, all these things I think we're going to see play out. Um, oh, there's Renera mounted up too. Decent teaser. Like, I, I'm not going to say it, I'm like blown away by it or anything. Uh, really quick little shots here and there that you, it's tough to piece together what exactly they want, but it's just a teaser trailer. Uh, I'm excited to see more, and I really can't wait for summer 2024. Um, House of the Dragon was not perfect. I think episode nine, the way that they ended it with uh, Rainey's, uh, you know, breaking out of the drag, I think it was a big miss. I think that was a, a low point of the series with episode nine, but overall, I mean, I think the series was fantastic in season one. So the action's definitely going to be ramped up. The consequences are going to be ramped up in season two. And I think this is trying to, but we saw that at the end of season or at the end of season one, we're not fucking around anymore, right? We got dragons fighting dragons and sometimes you can't even control them. And I think we're really going to see all of the decisions from both of these women really come back to bite them in the fucking ass between Renera and Allison Hightower. So I dig it. I dig it. A lot of good shots and a lot of cool things to break down over the next couple months.